Hey everyone, welcome to Tabletop Giant. Thanks for joining us. Uh, today we're going to open up a pack of uh, Duskmorn House of Horror Collector Booster Box. And inside this box we can find some pretty spicy stuff. Um, we already had our pre-release and everything went well. So we've identified the uh, you know, good cards to get out of the set. Um, we do have the... Uh, I'll show you a couple of the nice openings that we opened off camera in case anyone hasn't seen one yet. There's the special uh, Japanese foiling, um, the hard to, hard to get ones. So I think those are pretty much the case hits. I think you get them in, in Japanese physical writing and they're worth even a little bit more. But uh, we'll show you that. And we got a nice uh, Tyvar alt art as well. So we'll open with a couple big bangs. Let's hope we get something similar. Uh, in the box we're opening today. So those are from other boxes that we've opened. Uh, so what we can expect to see here. So I'll bring them in frame. Got a couple other stands for forgetting any big hits. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys are hoping to get in uh, opening your packs. Um, so pre-release just finished. Uh, we're opening this up on a Sunday. So uh, you've probably been to your pre-release uh, pre at your LGS. So we'll hammer through most of the commons pretty quickly. There's an Enduring Vitality. These Endurings are, are really good when they die. They come back as an enchantment. And the commander symbol for this set is uh, that guy there. So this is a Commander Full Art Suspended Sentence. We've got Overlord of the Boiler Bilges. That's a Mythic Full Art there. When he enters or attacks, deals 4 damage to any target. And with our new room mechanic, there's a room card. That guy looks pretty, uh, pretty skinny there, pretty lanky. Uh, creature spells uh, you cast have convoked. This is an enchantment. So remember, when you play it, you can play it for the casting cost of one of the two doors. And then the other door you can open later after it's at the battlefield. Um, and then there's Kona, a rescue beastie. So this is the nice uh, kind of green purple presentation. And a gremlin token. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are hoping to hit in your packs. Uh, let me know how you did it pre-release. Any surprises there? The Mind Skinner, I had a, a guy come in and thought this was overpowered by reminding him, although it's a 10-1 unblockable, it doesn't actually deal combat damage. It does mill for the amount of damage that it would actually deal. So, But great in mill decks. That's the Mind Skinner. We've got a Soaring Lightbringer. Other enchantment creatures you control get flying. flying. And whenever you attack a player, you get a 1-1 Glimmer enchantment creature token that's tapped and attacking and I guess it automatically gets flying because that's what he does there's a chainsaw old 80s TV theme uh, so we have the blue enduring whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player draw a card and if it dies uh, just return to the battlefield as a raw enchantment so these endurings are pretty strong Marina, uh, Vendril's Grimoire, legendary artifact in the alt art. And there's a spider token with a toy on the back. So yeah, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Lots of always fun when a new set comes out. Everybody gets to check out all the new stuff. But overall, from the community, I'm hearing uh, very positive things. This Insidious Fungus is very strong. Uh, it's only one, so nice one drop to get out. And on turn two, you sack it, draw a card, and search for a land from your hand and put it on the battlefield tapped. So very strong. I thought uh, he's one of the best cards. I had a couple of those pre-release, so they came into play. All right, dissection tools. Uh, it's just kind of expensive. Um, it does, uh, when you equip it, you have to sack a creature. And uh, the guy that gets equipped, plus two, plus two, death, touch, and lifelink. So pretty strong, but uh, by the time you get there, it's going to cost a lot. 
The Master of Keys looks like it's a uh, card from the Commander decks, a full art version. When he enters, you put X counters on it and mill twice X cards, so you can pay X into it. Each enchantment card in your graveyard has escape. Escape cost is equal to the card's mana cost, uh, plus XL three other cards from your graveyard. Well, you'd have to make a deck around him pretty specific. There's Nico, Light of Hope. Nice alt art there. Get shard tokens with her. A Ley Line of Hope. If it's in your opening hand, it comes on the field for free. If you gain life, you gain that much life plus one. And as long as you have at least seven life or more than your starting total, all your creatures get plus two, plus two. That's pretty nice to have in your opening hand. And here's the new uh, the new dual lands everybody's liking. So there's a full art foil of the Flood Farm Verge. Um, you activate it only if you control a basic, uh, which is pretty easy to do. So... Those are nice and strong. They came down a little bit, but uh, still pretty pricey. All right, so we're just going to get through the commons here. Uh, if you haven't seen the lands, I guess we can pause on those for a sec, but nice full art lands. Uh, Zaman, I think she's from Strixhaven, so she carries over to this set. So your end step, if a land entered under your control this turn, and you control a prime number of lands, create Primo the Indivisible. He's a legendary green and blue fractal creature. And then put that many 1-1 one, one counters on it. It reminds you what the prime numbers are. Gleeful Arsonist from the uh, commander set. Whenever opponent casts a non-creature spell, deals damage equal to his player. Well, that's very good. Balistrad Worm. Uh, we saw, I saw this in pre-release. It was in a couple decks. Very strong uh, Delirium return to the graveyard. Um, he can't be countered, a uh, trample haste, um, and when you return him to the battlefield with a finality counter, and you can only activate it if you've got uh, four or more card types in your graveyard. So that's what Delirium is, if you haven't seen Delirium in past sets. Uh, we got another room, the walk-in closet. You can play lands from your graveyard, so we know what kind of decks like that. And the Forgotten Cellar. When you unlock this door, you can cast spells from your graveyard this turn. And if a card will be put in your graveyard from anywhere, this turn, exile instead. Head Shredder, I never saw it at pre-release, but a couple people were playing it. So you may mill two cards when it attacks. Whenever one or more land cards are put in your graveyard from your library, put them on the battlefield tap. Oof, that can certainly be strong in the right deck. And there's a beast token. All right, I'll try and keep your, your video uh, short today. I won't spend quite as much time explaining cards. We'll just kind of focus on any hits. There's a nice uh, full art swamp from the set. We've got Dazzling Theater, a star athlete. There's Marvin, the murderous mimic, and his full art, full art alt. Undead Sprinter. So these full arts are cool. A lot of them have the reflection, whether it be in eyeglasses, sunglasses. This looks like maybe a camera lens or a periscope. So it's kind of cool. You get to see the reflection always in the uh, artwork. There's a restricted office with the lecture hall. Some doors to open and a spirit token. This over here, Swarm Weaver, Curator Beastie, another Commander card. Mariana, Vendril's Grimmore, we saw earlier. There's Nashi, the Rat, Rat Ninja Wizard. And there's the Green Ley Line. You can pay all five colors rather than pay the mana cost for spells that you cast. There's the shard token. The card that makes the shard tokens. Alright, so there's the planes full art. I say I spend a little bit of time on the lands. There's Nashi in his normal presentation. Full art master of keys we saw earlier. Peer past the veil. Discard your hand and draw X where X is the number of card types in your graveyard. There's the Flood Farm Verge. I believe that was the same one we got earlier. 
I can't remember for sure. But another full art, as long as you have a Plains or Island, that's when you can activate it. Otherwise, it only makes white. Here, past the veil again, and the glimmer token. Mm, nothing too spicy yet. Let's hope we get a big hit in this box. I hope you get to see it and enjoy it with us. Remember to, to uh, subscribe and like. Love to have you join us. We open all your favorite hobby boxes, especially Magic, but we open Pokemon, other stuff, sometimes even uh, the odd sports card. There's your mountain full art land. Unstoppable Slasher. So he's a 2-3 Death Toucher. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to the player, they lose half their life rounded up. Wow. And then when he dies, they've had no counters on it, return to the battlefield tapped with two stun counters. So he'll be back. Disorienting Choice. Fear of Missing Out. There's the Blue Ley Line, which I believe we saw earlier. Oh, maybe not. So it comes out uh, as it enters, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type are that type in addition to their other types. Cool. And a Grievous Wound. You enchant a player. Enchanted player can't gain life. Whenever enchanted player is dealt damage, it was half their life rounded up. Wow. So lots of lifelink uh, hate here. One guy we haven't seen yet is the, uh, I think he's called the Jolly Balloon Man. He was really strong in pre-release. I think he's going to be a sleeper. Oh yeah, and there's a black card in the set that does destroy enchantments. a bit controversial. Um, if you don't know, black has a hard time destroying enchantments, so this is great. That's another card you might want to get from your LGS before it, uh, it might spike up in price. So there's a Ghost Vacuum, I guess a nod to the Ghostbusters. Exile card from a graveyard. Sack the vacuum. Put each creature card exiled with ghost vacuum onto the battlefield under your control with a flying counter on it. Each of them is a 1-1 one -one spear in addition to other types. Cool. Metamorphosis Fanatic. Uh, commander card. He's a 4-4 lifelink. When he enters, return up to one target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a lifelink counter. And he has a miracle for two. Uh, I believe Miracle is if he's in your opening hand, you can pay the Miracle cost, but only if he's in your opening hand. There's Kona again in the uh, green and purple. There's a Silent Hall Creeper. So again, the reflection looks like maybe 3D glasses. Um, so it can't be blocked. Whenever it deals combat to a player, choose one that hasn't been chosen. Put two 1-1 counters on it, draw a card, becomes a copy of another creature you control. Overlord of the Bale Merc. He has impending five for two. Uh, when it enters or attacks, mill four cards, and you can return a non avatar creature card or planeswalker from your graveyard to your hand. All right, and then an insect token. All right, let's try to get an alt art here, guys. Hope for the best. And there's the. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be Blade. When I read the flavor text, there are worse things here than vampires. I remember, hey, didn't Blade say that? And I guess that's their nod to Blade without using the actual Blade. Um, Charred Fourier and Warp Space is our door card. We've got Persistent Constrictor. Um, beginning of each opponent's upkeep, they lose one life, and you put a minus one, minus one counter onto one target creature they control, and it can come back with Persist. Uh oh, I think we just got a huge hit coming up here. Uh, there's Grievous Wound again. And there's our Roaring Furnace and Sauna. And if I'm not mistaken, wow. There's the Japanese I was talking about. Um, it's not the special glimmer foil they have, but it is foil. So card 393. Must be the Red Enduring. Well, that is Enduring Courage. So I don't know which card this is. Apologize for that. We're going to put it up here. That's pretty spicy. We'll check that. That'll be available on the site for sale. We'll look at it again at the end. So that'll be our hit for the box. Very nice. So he's not Enduring Courage. 
I don't speak Japanese, so I'm not going to be able to help us out. Um, unholy Annex door. We've got a Seance board from the Commander decks, full art. There's the Ghost Vacuum and its alt art. Marina Vendril. Uh, she's got uh, Uberg, uh, one of each color to player. Uh, when she enters, reveal the top seven cards. Put all enchantment cards from one of them in your hand, the rest in the bottom. And she can tap to lock or unlock a door of any target room you control. Oh, she's pretty strong. You could build a door deck around her. There's the Mind Skinner full art foil. Can't be blocked. If a source you control will deal damage to an opponent, prevent that damage and mill that many cards. Oh, there's his alt art of him. We talked about him earlier. And Manifest. Okay, last pack. Let's see how we do. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, at tabletopgiant.ca, we'd love to have you as a customer. We'd love to have you on the channel to watch us open. Uh, remember, uh, we do have free shipping if you spend $10 or more on singles. There's a Thorn Aspire Verge, the uh, red-green dual land in the set. There's Winter Cynical Opportunist. Uh, he's a 2-5 Death Touch. Whenever he attacks, mill 3... And he has Delirium. At the end of your end step, uh, you may exile any number of cards from your graveyard with four or more types among them. If you do, put a permanent card from among them on the battlefield with a finality counter. So some recursion there. There's the Overlord of the Haunt Woods. A nice full art altar. 6-5. When he enters or attacks, create a tapped colorless land token named everywhere that it is every basic land type. So this guy should be worth a bit of money. That's just pure ramp. Ooh, that's cool art. There's the black, uh, red uh, dual art, Blaze Meyer Verge. Oh, there's the Doomsday Excruciator. What? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Look at that. Six to play. Uh, so the demon, 6-6 uh, six, six flyer, 6 black raw, no colorless there. When he enters, if it was cast, so you can't cheat it out, uh, each player exiles all but the bottom 6 of their library face down. At the beginning of your upkeep, I draw a card. Each player exiles everything except the bottom 6 of their library. So basically the, wow, got that early out in commander, that would really nerf a lot of decks. So the six uh, round timer starts if that thing gets out. So he's pretty nice. Yeah, so that was a nice opening. So I'm gonna let's look at that Japanese one again and and see uh, what we think. And there's a copy token with some. There's the treasure card for this set. Um, I'll look up what this is after. We'll put the right name on the uh, on the channel. He's got a lot of eyes. He looks pretty hungry. That's just cool. Okay, gang, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the new set, tabletopgiant.ca. We'd love to have you. Um, like I said, free shipping on singles over 10 bucks, and uh, subs and likes are great too. So give us a thumbs up and uh, hope you join us. Take care. Keep enjoying the hobby. Tabletop Giant.